The Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra, the largest performing arts organization in Indiana, needed to attract a new audience to the Lilly Classical Series. In order to solve this problem, they partnered with a team of graduate students from Ball State University's Center for Emerging Media Design and Development, or EMDD, to use design thinking to explore new approaches to audience engagement. The EMDD project, titled Remix the Symphony, sought to make classical music and the ISO more accessible and relevant to a younger audience by connecting classical music to contemporary music and the local Indianapolis community. Remix the Symphony was a transmedia experience containing both digital and physical spaces that targeted an audience 18 to 44 years old, new to the ISO and uninterested in the Lilly Classical series. Remix the Symphony employed a design thinking framework a user-centered approach to project development that includes audience research, prototyping, and iterative design. Design thinking placed potential participants at the center of the development process. With that in mind, the group sought to gain a better understanding of their potential audience through extensive ethnographic research, interviews, and observations. The team involved the ISO in the creative process as well, collaborating with them to collect valuable ideas from the people who know the ISO best. The findings from the research phase enabled the EMDD team to develop measurable objectives that would establish the success of the project. These four objectives were increasing attendance at the Lilly Classical Series through ticket sales, recruiting audience members new to the ISO and classical music through collection of contact information, educating new audience members about classical music through participation, and educating new audience members about the ISO through participation. Remix the Symphony launched in January 2017 by collaborating with composer and rapper Jacory 1200 Arthur, who performed with the ISO at one of their happy hour concerts. Remix the Symphony challenged Jacory to create an original remix using Richard Strauss's An Alpine Symphony, which was being played by the ISO later that month. Jacory partnered with audio engineer Dan Giffen from the Lodge Recording Studios to create a track that illustrated the ways classical music can be interwoven with contemporary art. The team also collaborated with ISO musicians to create remix playlists, which featured both classical and contemporary songs. These playlists showed the connection between classical and contemporary music, in addition to highlighting music that the professional symphony musicians love. In February, Remix Nights encouraged participants to rethink what it meant to remix. Remix the Symphony partnered with arts organizations in Indianapolis to create events where participants wrote and created visual art based on classical music that was being played at the ISO's upcoming concerts. The Remix Nights provided an evocative space in which people could interact with classical music in a unique way, with the goal of changing how people think about classical music and the culture that surrounds it. The artwork and writing created at the Remix Nights were integrated into zines, or handmade magazines, which featured information about classical music being performed during the Lily Classical series alongside the art generated by our users. The zines served as a culmination of the work created during Remix the Symphony and were distributed throughout Indianapolis in order to engage as many people as possible. Each of these events were tested and measured against the four measurable objectives that the EMDD team established during the initial research. Although the events were engaging ways to connect to classical music, the purpose of the project as a whole was to conduct research into creating new spaces of engagement for the Lilly Classical Series. At the end of every month, the EMDD team compiled a research packet detailing the results of its findings. In fall 2017, after the first cohort of EMDD graduates, a new project team will take over work with the ISO. The new team is currently researching how to encourage people to interact with classical music in a digital-first experience to establish a new, younger audience that finds value in classical concerts and wants to engage with the ISO. To do this, they are currently exploring how digital spaces are being incorporated with physical spaces through augmented reality and doing user research to see what kinds of experiences people would like to interact with. 